Welcome back survivors, it's Shay1 here. In today's video, we're going to be covering one of the best base defense dinosaurs in the entire game, and that is the Basilisk. He can also be very versatile in raiding as well, as long as you're raiding caves. But stick around to the end, because I'm going to teach you everything that there absolutely is to know about this guy. How to tame him, how to use, where to find, what to level, how to PvP, and so much more. So make sure you stick around. So, contrary to people's belief, to actually tame the Basilisk is very, very, very easy, okay? Um, it's just a little bit of prep work, but that's about it. So all you're gonna want is for a perfect 150 unofficial You're gonna need six either rock drake or magma sword eggs. You can also use uh, void wyverns, but Void wyverns are I want to use those Rock drake and magma sword is what you want to use then just simply get a dodo get a triangle foundation and place the Triangle foundation in front of the dodo like this in this way the dodo can't actually take damage like if you try to shoot at him So we're gonna use this to exploit all then we're going to do is throw down our eggs right around. I'm on a 3x taming server, so I only need 3 max. I probably only need 2. So yeah, just drop your eggs uh, right next to the dodo, and that's pretty much it for the preparation. So all then you're going to want to do is go in and get your basculus. So you can find the basculus on a multitude of different maps. I'll put the maps on screen now, but they spawn on Aberration, both Genesis's, Crystal Isles, and Lost Island. Those are the spawn locations, so feel free to go find one for yourself, okay? And all you're going to want to do is, after you found it, do that little setup. I'm going to spawn in a perfect 150 here, but yeah, this is super easy. So, boom, there's the basculus. Let me give this guy a little bit of punch, so I'm going to run for my life. I'm simply just going to run past and try to get him to aggro onto the eggs. Make sure your Dota's on passive because if he's not, he'll try to attack the Basculus and run out from underneath the foundation. This is kind of annoying as well. He is trying to go kill the Mammoth. So all I needed to do is redraw his aggro. Boom, I have it. And then just simply run for my life. Let's dodge this. Run for my life uh, back to these eggs and tell he's, you know, ready to eat him pretty much. Until he draws aggro on the dodo. Yeah, so perfect. He's now drawn aggro on the dodo. And once you get to this stage, it takes a little bit between each feeding. It takes like anywhere from 5 to 8 minutes. Um, he'll keep attacking the dodo, but don't worry. Like That's just like how the process is. It's kind of a long tame. As you can see, he ate an egg. And so all I have to do is just wait for him to <laughs> eat another egg. And so I'm literally just going to sit here. Uh, like I said before, 5 to 8 minutes between each feeding. So once you get to this spot... Just kind of relax, uh, make sure his aggro doesn't get onto something else, and yeah, I mean, like, you can go AFK if there's nothing nearby, like how I am, and just wait for it to tame. And boom! Congratulations, he is tamed. You have just tamed your first Basculus, and that's very, very simple. Like I said, the tame's very easy. It's just a matter of, like, finding the Basculus and getting the eggs. If you don't know where to get the eggs, the Magma Sword Rock Trick eggs, I have two videos on that, so... Be sure to go check those out. Those are actually two videos I've just recently posted. So, um, yeah, now let's get into this guy's juicy, juicy stat. So, going over this guy's stats, there is really only one thing that matters, right? And that is melee damage, okay? Okay, melee damage for a perfect 150 basculus. You're looking at 350. Uh, good melee damage, you're looking at 400. And phenomenal, great melee damage on a perfect 150 basculus, you're looking at 450, which is very, very high melee damage. That's a lot higher than most creatures. Um, and doing a quick evaluation on this guy, this dude has 446 melee damage, which is absolutely insane. This dude's going to hit like a truck. And you're literally just going to want to dump all of your levels into melee damage. Every single last point. You can put a couple points into health, because uh, he does get a bunch per tick. I wouldn't put anything into movement speed, because we're going to camp with this guy. So, generally speaking, put everything you have into melee. So, now let's go over the Basculus abilities, okay? He has a standard left click attack, which does an insane amount of damage, like you saw. But then this uh, Basculus does have a lot of melee damage on it. So, he uses standard left click attack, which is a bite, which is nothing special, okay? Uh, he has, like, his little roar that does nothing but besides just look cool. And then he also has his jump ability. This jump ability is really cool. Uh, it makes you go underwater, underground, and this uses up your oxygen. It has an ability cooldown. I actually just popped up because of rock. But when you're underground, this is how you bury your basculus. Um, it's pretty much invulnerable when it's underground, considering the fact that like nothing can attack you or anything like that. Um, and you can go really, really fast underground, which is very, very nice. And then you can like just pop up and start scaring people right just like that is actually terrifying 
but now let's get into this guy's bread and butter ability what you actually want the bash clips for and what makes him really really good that's his right click ability this thing is insane okay it's a little spitball attack both this is a wyvern right here, and this is a basculus poison wyvern, and they both have this like spitball ability that you see right here. However, the basculus is just much better uh, for a couple reasons. Because first off, the basculus has a basculus has a 50% damage increase with this spitball attack, uh, which is a lot nicer, way much, way more damage than the wyvern. On top of that, with the Basculus, you're going to level pretty much everything into melee damage. With the Wyvern, you got to put a bunch of points into stamina um, he, just to even make it usable. And on top of that, you also have to put points into health on a Wyvern really to make it viable. Not a lot, but you do. Right, the Basculus, you're going to pump everything into melee damage. And as you can see, the stamina drain on the Basculus is not a lot on these right-click attacks. And you could just spam this. Well, if I were on this Poison Wyvern, I'd already be out of stamina. So, that's what makes the Basculus really, really strong and much better than the Poison Wyvern. Uh, is the fact that you have a 50% damage increase on the Poison, like, attack. And then, on top of that, your Basculus is going to get a lot higher damage than your Wyverns will. And, on top of that, like, your Wyvern is going to run out of stamina really, really quick compared to the Basculus. So... That's kind of the point of the Basculus, is just to sit there and hunker down caves. He is a very, very good at that. Uh, if you're raiding a cave base or you live in a cave, I would always recommend to either bring or have a Basculus. The reason why is because you could like cock block really hard just sitting outside their cave and like spamming it. Uh, and like they can't do anything, they can't see anything. If they come even close, they're gonna get hit with 2000 damage at least. Um, it also does torpidity, it might knock them out, you can cage them. Uh, might knock out their dinosaurs if they try to giga you you can knock out their gigas uh, it's pretty it's really really strong and like i said before you can spam this if they won if they come on foot they're gonna get one shotted if you hit them off the back of this they're uh, uh, whatever team they're on they're gonna get one shotted so the basculus is very very strong given the right opportunity and you should always have one especially if you plan on raiding a cave online or if you are planning on defending your base online uh, that's kind of his point. He's not very good in the open fields. He's very, very weak. The Wyvern's much better due to the versatility of it. But when you have a nice tight funnel like a cave, he is much stronger than the Wyvern. That's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please leave a like and subscribe because that'd mean the absolute world to me. We're currently on a mission to reach 500 subscribers. We are super, super close. Uh, we're at like 470 currently. So yeah, you guys have been killing it with the support. Anyways, that's uh, that's it. So peace out and may God bless you all.